but in the city of New Orleans, that number is much higher. 78% of the adult population in this city is fully vaccinated. But city leaders say any news of a new variant is cause for concern and worth watching. WDSU's Morgan Lintis live outside City Hall with more on their message and if locals are listening. Morgan. Yeah, well, Gina, the message from city leaders really hasn't changed. They say no matter what variant of the virus we're fighting, you should still get vaccinated. And today we met several people who did just that. I was against it at first because I didn't know much about it. In a world where vaccine hesitancy is still very real, we met several people at the Mahalia Jackson Theater who've had a change of heart. I've accepted it, yeah. I've, come to, I've obviously come to terms with it. If I haven't, I wouldn't be here. Chelsea Lampton says her boyfriend's family finally convinced her to get the shot. She had COVID in August and says it was horrible, horrible. I care about it and I want to be safe. Also, I care about the younger generation. For some reason, they think it's a host and they think they try to, the government's trying to make you do something. Lawrence May, her boyfriend's father, is also concerned about the Omicron variant. To me, you should be worried, especially if you got, I'm blessed that I don't take no medicine. Some people are not that blessed. It's a subject the city addressed Tuesday. Regardless of what happens with the specific variants, you are going to see more attention paid to enforcement where that's needed. Spokesperson Bo Tidwell is talking about the city's vaccine mandate, which will stay in place through Mardi Gras. Locals and visitors alike are encouraged to get vaccinated now to protect themselves and to ensure carnival can happen safely. It's incentive enough for some. I feel like it's the best decision. Anybody who haven't took it, I advise you to go ahead on and get it done. Now, some cities like New York are encouraging residents to go ahead and put their masks back on while they're indoors after news of that new variant broke. I asked the city today if they encourage people to do the same. And while they said it is a good idea, it is not an official guideline from the city right now. Reporting live outside City Hall, Morgan Lentis, WDSU News.